welcome back to the channel. This week, I'm going to spend a little more time working on C10 again. We've got a car show coming up this week. It'll be the first car show I've ever been to. And I'd like to put the C10 in there, but there's a few things I'd like to get done before we go. I got a bunch of new parts here that I want to add to the truck. There's also a few things I've done to the truck already that I'm going to try to add into this video. I changed out the exhaust from Cherry Bombs to Flowmaster 10 Series. And I did get a flat tire on this front driver's side corner at one point. I just bought another one off Marketplace, threw it on there. Just so I have matching wheels, I'm going to throw the other one back on. I put a new tire on it last night. We'll swap that back out. And uh, as far as what I have to put on there, I'd like to put a working tack in there. There's a bunch of weird wiring with these LS motors that I'm going to have to try to do. We'll see if I can get that done. I'm going to be trying to put hood hinges from Simple C10 on there. It was 150 bucks for the kit. And so we'll see if we can get that put on because uh, right now I've been using this bar and I, but it's time to switch over to hood hinges. I did buy a line lock kit that I would like to throw in there. I don't know if I'm going to get to that this week before the show. So I'm not sure if I'll have that in this video. As well as I also have a mini spool for the rear end. Again, I don't know if I'll get that in there this week. If I have time, I'll definitely try to put it in there. And then on top of that, I have some engine covers. Since I'm running a truck intake, it's uh, kind of ugly. We'll see if we can get those engine covers put on there, make it look a little better under the hood. Then last but not least, I may try to do a little bit more tuning. It does run pretty good right now, but it's a dog down low. So I might do a little more tuning. We'll see if I can get to that as well. It runs and drives fine the way it is, but if I can uh, get it running a little better, great. If not, no biggie. So let's see how much we can get done this week before we go to the show. I also need to wash this thing. <clears throat> I haven't washed this thing since I bought it. That's been a couple years now. And I think it's time. I am planning on clear coating this thing down the road, but I definitely won't have enough time for that this week. So let's hop to it, see how much we can get done. I'm at the point where I want to switch over from cherry bombs and I'd like to put 10 series flow masters in there before we do that let's go ahead and uh, fire this thing up Now, if I'm being honest, I think that actually sounds pretty darn good, but uh, I think these Flowmasters are going to sound a lot better. They're not actual Flowmasters, they're a knockoff Flowmaster off Amazon. I think they were called Flow Shine or something. So, either way, let's throw them on, see what those sound like. Okay, so here's the setup I had with Cherry Bombs. Um, even though I covered up the ends there, these Cherry Bombs are pretty small but it was uh it was all i could find at the time uh so i think it's also kind of choking it out a little bit and then what i'm going to is these you can see the welds there kind of like like the v-shape and then this side here is just a plate with a, a center hole there you can see the v-shape down there and there um these here were, I don't know, I think they were 35 bucks a piece. I got some extra pipe right here too. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swap these out real quick. We'll do another sound check after that. truck okay so i got the flow masters or flow shine mufflers put on the 
truck here. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like now. Yeah, I gotta say, I think that uh, to me, that sounds a lot better than the cherry bomb. So I'm pretty happy with that. But you know, to each their own, some people might like the others better. I think this sounds pretty darn good. Pretty happy with it. All right, I think I'm gonna start with changing this tire out. But before I do that, let's show you exactly what happened when I blew that other tire. And then we'll get this thing swapped out. Blew a tire on the C10 the other day. And as you can tell, that's no bueno. We're sitting right on the ground. So I found a local guy selling just one tire here. Pretty much the same size. Perfect. That'll work. Beautiful. Okay, let's get that one off of there. Now that's a brand new tire, but it just don't match. I'm gonna throw this this one on here that I threw a new used tire on. New to me. That way they all match and we're looking good going to the show. Alright, there we go. And so for the tack situation. I got this small little tack in here. It was in the truck when I bought it. I have no idea if it was good or not. I did hook it up to all the wires. We've got power, ground, signal wire. Uh, I don't remember the other one, but oh, light maybe. Um, but when I turn it on, This new one that's a little bigger I thought I'd like that a little better anyways so we're gonna go ahead and throw that one in there and then I have this resistor it's a LS tack resistor I think I got it from Summit or Speedway and you're supposed to wire that in line with one of these wires I think with the signal wire coming from the harness so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there put this tack in and let's see if we get any action. Okay, so we got the tack in here. Got her kind of mounted up there already. Now what I did was between the signal wire, which is the green, and the power wire, which is the red, I, I looped a resistor in between those two wires. And that's uh, supposedly that gets you the voltage you need on your signal wire which you don't get from the PCM apparently uh, so now when I fire it up here we go yeah you can see uh, it's got to idle down a little more yet but it sits right at about 900 that's what I got it set at due to my lack of tuning knowledge and experience that's just my my uh, get it to run tune so that's where she's at she's working pretty happy about that so now I think I'm gonna move on to the uh, the hood hinges I ended up getting the hood shocks on here and it turned out pretty darn good these things are super simple easy to put on I didn't show it because uh, if you want to see how to do it you can go check out simple c10 
he tells you exactly how to do it uh, in a very nice way, better than I could. So I got this off of his site. This is the first time this hood is actually sitting up without my little pole there. So that's pretty neat. Got all the rust babies in a row here. Looking good. <clears throat> well, we're at the car show now. See, I got uh, stuff in the window here. We got a little lineup. We got the Challenger, the wagon, one owner, F-250 here. Hi boy, C10, and then uh, the other high boy that I worked on. Only got those few things done, but here she is. She's looking good. Drove good here. All right, well that's gonna do it for this episode. We had a great time at the show. Things went really well. Talked to a lot of people. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and let me know if you'd like to see anything else on this truck. We'll see you on the next one.